everyone welcome back to my channel so as promised i am back with the second collection that was sent to me by magic gel to share with you guys so this is their mlac early spring collection honestly guys the colors in this collection are stunning and absolutely perfect for spring and summer and they are very pigmented and they apply like butter so if you'd like to see more in regards to these colors stay tuned So as promised, I'm back today with the second collection that was included in the little box that Magic Gel has sent me to review for you guys. So this is their early spring collection. So it's from their MLAC line and it has eight wonderful colors. I'm so excited for these colors because these are so pretty. So the colors that we're getting in this collection is 82 which is Peony Whisper, 83 which is Pearl Pink, 84 which is Sweet Dreams, 85 which is Amethyst Cream, so that one is supposed to be one coat coverage, 86 which is California Lilac which is supposed to be another one coat coverage, 87 which is Caribbean Teal, 88 which is Early Spring, and 89 which is Deep Memories. And as always, I got um, some of the labels included with this collection, which I greatly appreciate. So the first color that I have to share with you from the MLAC Early Spring Collection, this one is called Peony Whisper. So this is a gorgeous bright pink gel cream polish absolutely perfect with the collection and perfect for this time of the year i mean quite frankly you could wear it whenever but i think it's just fitting especially for spring and summer and to me this does have some purpley undertones so it could have very easily been a one coater maybe if i had gone in a bit thicker but i usually like to do thinner coats so i am seeing some um, baldness in certain areas so i am definitely going to go in with a second coat and here we have peony whisper against my skin tone such a beautiful pink this is really really pretty and i love how much of a cool toned pink this is up next we have number 83 which is pink pearl as you can see through the peekaboo window it looks like this has some like blue shimmer to it so i'm excited to see this one Ooh, this is really pretty too So here we have the first coat of Pink Pearl. So this is a very pretty, I want to call it like a doll pink. And it does have some pearlescent shimmer and it has like a blue shift in the shimmer which is really really pretty. I am going to go in with a second coat just because I can see some sheerness here at the tip. But other than that, this is one of those really girly pretty colors. <music> Just like with Peony Whisper, Pink Pearl is very nice and opaque with just two thin coats. And here we have Pink Pearl against my skin tone. Such a stunning pink. Like, I am in love with the shimmer in this. It's so pretty. I am in love with the shimmer in this. It is so pretty. I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side of Peony Whisper and Pink Pearl. Look at how gorgeous they would be paired together. Like, they really complement each other as well. So I love that they did this with these two colors. The next color that I have to share with you is number 84. And this one is called Sweet Dreams. And just by the window here, this looks like a pinky, purpley kind of color. Looks like it has some blue undertones. Let's see. Ooh, this is really girly and pretty. Funny enough, I actually used to have my room when I was 
younger, maybe like eight, nine, painted in a color similar to this. So here we have Sweet Dreams in the first coat. I am definitely gonna go in with the second coat. It was literally almost a one coater guys for me, almost. But I am seeing some sparseness just in that area right there. But it was so smooth and the coverage is fantastic. My camera is leaning more pink than this color is. So like to me in person, this is more of a pastel-y pinky purple. It has pink hues to it, it has purple hues to it. So it, I, I can't really call it a pink or a purple. It's like a really, pretty combination of the two. And as you can see with the second coat, Sweet Dreams was fully opaque. I love this color. I'm not really a pinky girly color, but this reminds me so much of that color I had in my bedroom. And it brings back so many of my childhood memories, so I am in love with this. And here we have number 84, Sweet Dreams against my skin tone. I love how opaque this is. Like, you can't see where the tip is covering anyway <laughs> you can't see the color that's under my that's on my thumb sorry so i love 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 that this is so pretty and like again this is another great color that they chose for spring especially for a spring collection i'm gonna have to try and wear this on myself just because there's some purple in it so i am in love so next up we have amethyst cream so this is one of the ones that was listed as a one coater and this looks like it's gonna be a purple so i'm excited because you know it's my favorite color in all guys yes this is so gorgeous i'm biased because in my opinion i can never have too many purples i want all the shades i'm in love So this is a beautiful pastel, almost amethyst purple, and it does have some blue undertones to it, but just as they said, it is a one coat coverage, and it definitely is that. It built nicely. I didn't have to go in with a second coat. I just love how this is, and it's even better for me because it's my favorite color and it's a one coater. I think that's absolutely fantastic. And here is Amethyst Cream against my skin tone. I'm so in love with this, guys. It's unbelievable. I mean, what did you expect from me? It's purple, so you guys know this is right up my alley. And I'm biased, but I have no complaints. It was smooth. It applied like butter. Like, this is an amazing color. If you're able to get it, you need to get this and add it to your collection for sure. And I just wanted to compare um, number 84 which is Sweet Dreams and then number 85 which is Amethyst Cream. So while Sweet Dreams does have some purple undertones to it, putting it next to Amethyst Cream it pulls more pink. But by itself it looks more purpley pinky but definitely beside it it pulls more pink than for example this True Purple. But there's some purple undertones in here for sure that I can see. I actually feel like these two would pair very nicely together as well whether you do like a gradient ombre or a set maybe alternating colors on each nail i think this would look really good so the next color i have to share with you is number 86 this one is california lilac again another purple i'm loving this like this makes me so happy oh yes And here we have California Lilac in one coat. I did forget to mention that this one is the other one coater in this collection. And can I tell you, I love that they made both purples one coaters. Like that is amazing because duh, my favorite color, why not make it a one coater? So this to me is like 
a bold lilac pastel -y color it is on the cooler side but i love it i am absolutely adoring this this is so pretty perfect all year round especially with spring right now it is such a beautiful color guys you cannot go wrong in my opinion and here we have california lilac against my skin tone as you can see you cannot see the blue once it's um under the purple it's fully opaque absolutely adore this color i think it is so amazing and you can bet that you're gonna see it on my nails at some point so i just quickly wanted to compare amethyst cream and california lilac so this one is amethyst cream this one is california lilac again the two of them would be absolutely amazing together like i really can see these two working beautifully together and then if you also wanted to you could add in sweet dreams so from left to right is sweet dreams amethyst cream and california lilac i think these three are gonna look so gorgeous together guys what do you think so this one is number 87 which is caribbean teal gorgeous gorgeous color oh yeah So this is Caribbean Teal in just one coat. To me this is like a pastel turquoise and again it is a cream and it applied beautifully because it is a pastel this one is a bit on the thinner side so I am definitely going to go in with a second coat because I can see some areas where I would need a second coat but again this would make a beautiful color for spring or summertime especially if worn as a pedicure too. I think it would look so cute. And here's Caribbean Teal in two coats. Absolutely beautiful. I love that it built so nicely. And again, this is such an amazing color. And it fits perfectly with the theme of this collection. And here's what Caribbean Teal looks like against my skin tone. Very, very, very nice color. And it is perfect with the collection as well. You can also see how opaque this is. And the second last polish from this collection I have to share with you is called Early Spring. Huh. This is like the namesake of the entire collection, which is really adorable. And this looks like a nice green. There's some shimmer in here. It looks really pretty. Ooh, yes, this is gorgeous. So here we have the first coat of early spring so this is a bright i want to call it tractorous green and it has like a subtle hint of gold shimmer to it and it is so pretty like i love that this was the namesake of the collection and it is perfect for this time of year so i am definitely going to go in with a second coat because as you can see there is some sparse areas but i'm sure enough with that second coat it will be fully open Just as I had suggested with the second coat, early spring did build very nicely, good coverage, good application, very smooth. I have absolutely no complaints. This actually reminds me of a polish my mom had when I was growing up. I can't remember the name of it to be honest, but I remember it being a green like this and I was in love with it. So this is early spring in two coats. And here's what early spring looks like against my skin tone. Very, very fun green for spring and summertime. You can kind of see the gold shimmer in the swatch stick here. It's definitely more apparent when you are looking at it in person. And just as I said, it was fully opaque with two coats. And the last polish I will be sharing with you from the Magic Gel MLAC Early Spring Collection. This one is the glitter and it is called Deep Memories. This looks so pretty just by the peekaboo window here. Oh yeah, this is a beauty for sure.
So Deep Memories is a chunky and fine gold glitter suspended in a clear base. This is jam-packed with glitter. I mean like the glitter payoff in each stroke was amazing. So you have two options with this one. You could leave it as is or you could use it as a topper. You can even build it up to give it like a full jam-packed glitter nail. I just want to see what it looks like but you could easily leave it like this too and it would look just beautiful. Here we have deep memories with two coats so as you can see even by the second coat it is really dense and very very opaque so it's really up to you how you want to wear it this would be fun for like a glitter fade or if you just wanted an accent nail if you want to just add a bit of glitter over one of the colors like i think this would work so great all year round and last but not least here is deep memories against my skin tone i mean like look at how pretty and fun this glitter is guys and again this is two coats as well so you can really see how densely packed this is you can see all those like holographic glitters the micro gold glitters the larger gold chunky glitters such an amazing polish in a in this collection and here we have it for the magic gel mlac early spring collection honestly guys i have i have no complaints about the colors in this collection i think that these colors match and fit the theme of this collection absolutely perfectly. They're all beautiful and absolutely perfect for spring. Obviously, these three are my top favorite. Number 84, Sweet Dreams, 85, Amethyst Cream, 86, California Lilac. And I really, really love Deep Memories. Like, the gold glitter is just fantastic. I mean, quite frankly, they're all awesome and work really well. And I can see them working together individually or if you're like mix and matching the colors they will work well as well thank you so much for watching my video as always guys i will have everything linked down in the description box for you down below as well please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when i do post more content let me know what you guys thought about this collection did you have a favorite color is there one you can really see yourself wearing until next time stay glamorous